Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. Something slightly different, something slightly new. We were streaming last night. We uh, had a technical issue. We took probably 35 minutes to get the stream starting because my steering wheel failed to work correctly. Where's reverse in this damn thing? There. Can't get it to go in at reverse. Can't get it to go into any gear. There we go. It's in reverse now. Gear lever. My truck won't go into first or second. It's not only in fourth gear. What's going on here? Now it's first. Can't get it to go into second. This in front of me here. Logitech G25. It is probably 20 years old in my in my assist existence in my possession and last night the gear selector failed to start working so if i push it forwards and try to engage first gear it just pops straight out if i go for second gear it pops straight out if i go for third it stays in if i change for fourth it stays in fifth gear it just pops out and won't engage sixth gear it won't have it if i press down for reverse and go across it won't engage reverse this, this gear lever has the ability to go between a sequential and a manual H shifter. It has a switch on the front here, which if I was to attempt to turn it, you can see, but you can't see. If I attempt to switch it between H and sequential, you can see here that the gear lever goes back into reverse, into fourth gear, and it doesn't actually engage. You're supposed to press the lever down, turn the lever, but it forces itself back into H. So what I suspect, plate that's supposed to guide the gear selector when you turn this, and I actually believe that's stuck. So we can see that there's six screws around the outside of here. I'm going to attempt to take that off. And with doing that, I've got to connect, disconnect the wheel from the gear lever and we'll give you a little bit of a time-lapse sequence whilst I go through that and attempt to repair it. We have actually no idea what we're going to find in here. I've read a YouTube guide thing, of course. Somebody else has done this before, but technically I have no idea what it is actually that is uh, causing the problem. So, If we can get it back up and working, that's all well and good. The main benefit of doing this process is, on the back of yesterday's sort of discussion, that maybe it's time for a new wheel. This isn't my only wheel, by the way. This is this is what I use on the PC because it works with the software that came prior to the Logitech G Hub, 
and when I try and plug in a G29 to the PC it doesn't work with that older software you have to install the G hub but when you install the G hub it takes away all the old settings from the old wheel so rather than swap the wheels back and forth the, the G25 which is still perfectly functional becomes obsolete when you've got the G29 plugged in because it won't work so I found a happy medium of keeping the G29 to the PlayStation 4 and 5 and then the G25 on the PC which works absolutely brilliantly here we go so what we want to try and do is have a look inside and see if we can find a better angle for you guys to see Absolutely no idea. Absolutely no idea what's going on. So what you should be able to what you should be able to see in there is a roller and out of the side of the screw, out of the side of the shaft, is two screws. And those two screws seem to be not able to reach where they need to go. There's something blocking that in the way. When we turn the sequential thing and attempt to push this down, this item here found what the problem is. Found what the problem is. It's this. There it is, there's the solution. There's a black plastic collar here that's preventing the wheel, the, the, the stick from engaging where it needs to go, this plastic collar. This plastic collar, if I do that, look, it's gone in perfectly, goes to the back perfectly, comes forward. There is a black plastic collar that is sliding up and down. That there is interfering with the process. I believe the top of the gator, I believe the top of the gator was actually connected to that. And when you force that back up into the top of the gator, that actually traps that back up there quite nicely. Now, if I press that down do that we're back into what would be it's dropped back down again there the so the ideal would be for me to remove that can I can I disconnect can I take off my knob on the top it's a screw down to the middle, brilliant. I think we've found the solution. We're just going to remove the I don't know if my No it won't fit. I'm gonna to have to go and get a long out of screwdriver. Just bear with me a second. Here we have it back with the screwdriver. Just gonna Shoot that down the top. As easy as it seems. Get a different screwdriver. 
we have it, screwdriver number two. There we go. Just needed a squeeze off the top. I'll leave the screw in there. So, what I want to try and do, take that little collar off there. I'm going to remove this black item here. And you can see where, where it's actually come out of the glue. So, you can see there's a I just hold it steady for the camera to focus for a minute. This black item here would have fitted into there and the gator would have sealed into that unit. Now, for what that's worth, I'm going to remove that from the process. I'm just going to turn the gator back down, put that back on, engage this Follow back to the top which has got a shaped edge, the back of this plane is, back of the shaft is actually shaped. I'm going to put the gear knob back on. I'm going to, using the original screwdriver that I brought back up, screw the gear knob back on to the top of the gear lever. That's back on, then we're going to attach the six screws and we should have a fully functioning wheel again, which fully functioning gear lever for the wheel. And from somebody who is not necessarily technically brilliant, I'm, I'm a bit technically, mechanically dyslexic, I think is the word you'd use. use. I, I have no idea what tight means. Tight means give it the beans on the screwdriver or the spanner. Make it tight. It's not going to move again. Normally, normally that means stop for me when you hear it go crack. And occasionally, if that's plastic stuff, when it goes crack, it's broke. So, and what I should do here is follow the correct wheel bolt fastening because six studs and if you've got something like a pickup truck you'll still have six wheel nuts or wheel studs and you should do them alternately shouldn't you so I'm gonna miss one put one in miss one put one in which is the correct way to do things and this is plastic surround so we stop when it starts to feel snug I think is the best way to say it and to have a fully functioning wheel again would be absolutely epic fully functioning gear lever which means I can't I guess it doesn't go against the plan of needing an upgrade and between you me and the gate post if if you're looking for an upgrade the best thing to do when you're discussing it with a bank manager i.e. the wife oh it's broke gonna need a new one and she normally resists but then she goes well if you need a new one and it's broken so is the next thing to go downstairs and say repaired it everything's fine no expenditure required or just say um yeah i don't think it's gonna last though it's repaired yeah i've done my best it's repaired but we're gonna need we're gonna need an upgrade we're gonna have to replace it i'm afraid it's it's done she says she'll come out with the lines i know what's coming can you get something off ebay something to match it'll be 20 quid it's like yeah I'll, that's the next plan i'll have a look i'll see i'll see what there is but don't forget these are old so there's a chance that there's a chance that whatever is available isn't available if you see what I mean I think we're gonna go into a time-lapse phase now where I reconnect the wheel up and thread all the cables away and you'll get to enjoy that so there we go six snugged up bolts we have it currently in back to H pattern there's one two three four five six Let's bring it back to the right hand side so you can see that over here in its natural habitat. Make 
making sure I get making sure I get the gear knob in the correct places. So what would be first gear? Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Then to put the into the H shifter, one forwards, reverse, down. Repaired, absolutely smashing. Right, let's get it wired back up. We'll see where we go. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty, I'm toxic and psychotic, with this logic, you can't stop it, it's been chronic since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic, I'm go! I'm to last with the webs I'm weaving, I could change the past with all I'm achieving, got my foot on gas, never stop competing, if you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat them, make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat them, if you take off the you can see all the healing if the pain's in the past Move on from the grave and put your foot on the gas No, never stop competing, yeah I've been doing this, I'm on it I just want to be iconic And there you have it folks, fully up and working again Let's just change views And you should be able to see the light That Changes on and off for, for the relevant connections. When you've got the sequential shifter, the light comes on, which you should have seen there, sequential. And then back to manual selection first in the H pattern, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And the root cause of the problem was that little connector. So there you have it that could be one of a multitude of things folks that is a fix for your logitech g25 if you're unable to select gear and unable to change between h pattern and sequential thank you very much for watching this little technical spot we'll see you on the next one all the best take care